Yo, yo, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing what must be one of the most controversial Marmite, love it or hate it trainers out there. And we're talking about the Off-White Blazer Lows. Let's go. Yes, welcome back everybody. If you're new to the channel, my name is Patrick T. I do all kind of reviews on trainers and kicks and that kind of related stuff. I do a weekly a video called Week Check, which lets you know all the new training releases come up for the next seven days. That usually drops on Sunday. So to everyone, if you haven't already, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when I upload all my videos and especially the week check videos on a Sunday because there's no set time for that one. So I try and keep a set time, but you know, life's life. But if you haven't, please do that. Again, if this video gives you content, please hit the like button and definitely, definitely comment. Let me know what you think of these trainers. Now, I just want to clear up something. For me, this was a bit of an insult. I'm going to say this, yeah. So rest in peace, Virgil Abloh, extraordinary designer. Grammys class him as a hip hop designer, which is a liberty. It's a liberty because off-white clothing is not just hip hop. I don't think, what is hip hop clothing? What, I don't, I don't understand that, it's rude. He's been in major fashion houses. He's, his own collection is doing bits. He's, he's high end fashion. It's just, it's just rude, man. I just thought it was, I just wanted to put that out there. Agree with me or not agree with me. Anyone else would have been just called their fashion designer to box him as to hip hop when he was more than just hip hop. It's just rude. Anyway, got it out of the way. Let's get straight into this. We're talking about Off White, Blazer Low by Rest in Peace, Virgil Abloh. And let's do it normally. Let's start with the box. So here we have, we have just a plain night box, really. There's no thing what you usually get it off white. You've got the swoosh on the top branding with a hole, which is, you know, Virgil does that. There's all holes in the box. On this side, this side you've got some more holes as you can see and then on the right side you've got some more holes as well underneath nothing on the back of the box you've got off-white logos which is the face with off so which is the hand with off the face and then the other hand with white and tm the details say blazer low 77 off-white white university red okay inside the box you've got the traditional off-white paper which is in a kind of bluish hint to it with all the off-white branding and when you lay it out it will have the two hands and the face now let's get into the kick let's get into the kick now i did a bit of research on this because when you look at it you're like i don't know what that is but i mean you're not too sure you know it's a blazer but you're not too sure what's going on with a heel but we're going to get to that so basically I was doing a bit of research into this. Virgil basically wanted to blend three types of sports. I think it's basketball, skateboarding, and trail running. Okay, so I'm going to get into it, and we could take it from there. But let's do what we normally do. Let's start with the sole of the shoe. There you have it. You have a typical blazer sole with a zigzag um, engraves and the lining just around the toe box and the heel. The midsole is a blazer midsole. It's got that dirty element to it. It's got the massive rubber guard. You've got the overlay rubber on top of the rubber at the toe box as well. And just above that, I'm going to get to heel in a minute. I'm going to get to heel in a minute, I promise. But just above that, you've got a strip of canvas, which is sewn from the toe box all the way around the shoe, back to the toe box again on the other side of the shoe. Now, the heel. <laughs> this TPU is on top of it. It's it's glued on top of it. I, I don't think it's sewn. I think it's glued on top. Now, this inspiration comes from the Nike Air Terra Humera trail shoe. Now, that's where it come that's where it derives from. Obviously, he's put his own little details in it, but as you can see, it tips out big. Like, I mean. When I put it in this box, I've had to 
kind of tilt it to get in. It's not going to sit flush like that. I've had to, you know, put at an angle so it would fit in because like that, it couldn't fit in the box. That's how far that heel comes out. You can see that. Crazy, crazy. The upper of the shoe is completely leather. It's a white, nice soft, well, it's softer on the toe box, but kind of hard around the rest of the shoe. You've got the university red tick, as you can see there, that travels onto the heel of the shoe. And you've got, again, leather with the Nike embossed in there. You can see the hole. Okay, it is a hole. There is nothing covering it. If you wear this in the rain or put outside, it's going to get wet because there's holes. Look, every every one of these in there is a hole. So you've got a hole on the heel here. You've got a hole there. You've got a hole here near your little toe. You've got a hole on the toe box, as you can see there. You've got a hole again on the inside of the shoe there. Another hole just at the top there. Sorry, I'm just trying to move everything out of the way. Another hole at the top there. And that's it for the holes. We can see on the heel where that heel guard is covered. There's another little hole there. That is a kind of plasticky material with grip on it. So I don't know what that is. Staying here, the line of the shoe is white, nylon white, bit of padding, not too much padding. And as we're near the top, we're near the tongue, you've got the Nike branding with an orange swoosh and underneath that it says off. The tongue itself again is padded, it's in a cell color. It's undone at the top so you can see the foam. It's, you know, it's not sealed. That's what, that's the word, not, it's not sealed at the top so you can see the foam. And the laces themselves are white, just normal laces, but obviously being off-white, it's gonna have the words shoelace written all over it there at the top. Covering that, with black hoop, nylon black hoops, is this yellow lace what runs all the way across the shoe, just like with every off-white or like white dunks. Inside, or the inner sole, is just a typical blazer inner sole, but you've got an off-white face on the left foot, on the right foot, you've got an off-white hand. Okay, nothing else to report about that's in that term. Going back to the red swoosh, just underneath where your ankle would be, you've got a nice little blue, tick on um, nice little blue piece of material there and on the inside of the shoe you have embossed in black right and it says off-white tm for nike nike blazer low beverton oregon usa c dot now that's typical in terms of off-white trainers but obviously this is the blazer low so it's telling you it's a blazer low now again you always get the off-white is the tag now with the dunks or the lot, was it one to 50? Was it one to 53? I can't remember. I think it was one to 50 lots you used to get. I, I've, I've done a video review on there. If you have a look, you'll find it there, here. This is usually just plastic. Some writing on it, some not. I can't remember too tough. But with this one, although it is plastic, it's got like a velvet kind of, can you hear that? It's got a velvet um, of fluffy, covering on it so it's not just pure plastic okay which is a nice little touch it's just different isn't it there's not much more to say about these you either love them or hate them i'm gonna say i like them <laughs> i think i like them because i like them in hand which makes a difference i know i was speaking to someone on instagram they got them in black and they love them in hand. They they said they fit really nice. They're true to size. So if you know if you still want to get a pair of these ones, it's nice to have in your collection. Resell? I don't know about resell. You know, I know it went a bit stupid when when he died and people started trying to cash in on it, and it was just a bit too too icky, wasn't it? It's just too icky. I didn't like that. So I don't know about resell. I haven't even looked at the resell on these ones. If these ones you want to just cop for your collection, I would say definitely go for it. I think the black ones are nice as well. More understated than these ones. These are definitely a summer trainer. The black would have to be a summer trainer as well because it's just got holes in it. It's just got holes. If you wear these in the rain, you're dead. I don't care. But, you know, different color socks will make it pop differently as well, obviously because of the holes. And yeah, it's a heavy trainer. So, you know, um, but it's just, 
different, isn't it? It's just different. I know there's people in there going, what are you talking about? This is shocking. But in hand, trust me, you, you'll have a different view on it. And you can wear this, man. Trust me, you can wear this. So that's me anyway. Patrick T. Rest in peace to Virgil Abloh, off-white creator, fashion designer extraordinaire, not just a label boxed fashion designer, what they tried to do at the Grammys, which was, like I said, was rude. But there you have it, off-white kick, enjoy. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit notification bell, leave the comments, let me know what you think about this. Was there anything I didn't cover on any you? Anything more you wanna know? Again, just comment and we can talk and whatever. So I'm gone anyway, Patrick T, out, peace.